Hey, hey, we're going to spend a little time cleaning up this Panasonic and ball radio, the AM ball radio. And this is, um, need some glasses here. It's called the Panapet 70. Can you see that right there? Anyway, it has a scratchy volume knob for sure, which really causes a lot of problems. Uh, Panasonic logo right there. And we're going to use some goo going on here. And I don't need those now. And some uh, contact cleaner for the volume knob. So we'll start that right now because it is very staticky. You see right down in there, but I get complete access to that uh, potentiometer. Just a little squirt. Work it in. All right. Turn that down for a minute. Find us a radio station. All right. What do you say we uh, do some cleaning on this thing here? You can see it's just kind of grubby. You see all the marks on there? It's not. It's not sparkly. It's not brilliant. So let's make it that way. I think I will start by putting this thing back together, just like that, and uh, just have a little thumb screw here that holds the two halves together and uh, yeah got ourselves some goo going which is pretty phenomenal stuff got ourselves an old cotton sock start with some of that there very little and I'm gonna switch cameras so you get the subject by the way it smells good too I think it's going to require a little more elbow grease than what I'm giving it. It may require something a little more stronger than Goo Gone. But I don't know. It's just kind of nasty. But we'll get there. I, I intend to throw this on eBay. Oh, there we are. Whatever that was, that white stuff. May have been an old sticker or something. It could have been the price tag that I pulled off of it. But uh, I think it's going to actually be kind of brilliant when it's done. It's already starting to get there. So let's just continue to work on this. And See how nasty and foggy that, uh, here, here, where am I, here, look here, how nasty and foggy that window is, see that, we're going to work on that, we're going to work on the whole ball, and then uh, we'll be back. I've decided to pull these knobs out because it's going to be a lot easier to clean the knob and the surrounding area of the ball radio itself, so... We're going to do that, but uh, I think it's actually looking much nicer, so we will see. Stay tuned. All right, so those are coming right along. The ball is done, but I'm going to throw a little polish on this ball, so but yeah. The knobs are coming right along. You see, I haven't touched that one yet. 
get itself a side by side comparison to the one I have done. So yeah, let me keep working at this and uh, I'll be back. And so what we're using here now is Major Shine. You see it says Major Shine right there. Aluminum plastic uh, and fiberglass polish. What I'm doing is I'm going around the whole ball and I'm staying away from any ridges or holes because uh, the polishing compound is hell to get out of there. But right now it was clean, as you can see. I mean, there's a little glow on there, but not to our standards. So I'm going to finish polishing this ball all the way around and then, uh, or applying the polish all the way around. And then we are going to come back and rub it off. And, uh, because, you know, the better it looks, we already know it works really well, but the better it looks, the more return on your, uh, flip. I paid five bucks for this ball. And we are going to go look after I'm done here to see what the current going price is on these, uh, Panapet 70 balls. Somebody's running up and down the stairs and I, I it's just driving me nuts. So, yeah. I'm going to let that set up for a minute or two. And then uh, we'll come back and we'll uh, polish that off. All right. Be right back. All right. So I think it looks pretty sparkly. There are a few spots on here that uh, right there. That looks like a scuff maybe where it was dropped. It just won't come off. Maybe if I spend some time with a little wet sanding and 600 paper and 1,200 paper, I could probably get that off. But uh, no, I'm not doing that. But uh, I think all of the DNA is off now, which is really nice. So yeah, nice clear dial, pretty clear. Our knobs are looking like a million bucks. So let's apply those. They do have little markers on there, little ridge markers right there. Let's see if you can see this here. There is a little dot right there. Well, on uh, the volume, that's going to be easy because we know all the way to the left is off. So there's that. And I believe we just have to take this one all the way over here, like so, and then, re and then, oops, and then set our marker to coincide with where it fits on the dial currently. There we are. It's uh. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's how you keep it going, for sure. I think it's, uh, it's, it's the, uh, the opportunity of talking with see if we can go to ESPN. I have kiddo on tight end. So it's a matter of life, friendship, or not know if they get that. Mm. Hold on. Most common is the belittling. In the workplace, you see a lot of bullying that takes place where there's criticism of the person's work, criticism of them as a person, as a worker. You know, you see bullying. Let's see what else we can find. I think we have a sports station. I'm in my basement right now, but usually with AM radio. Not a very clear station. Extremely stressful for people, you know, in the workplace. It's very often the case. Right, having some of the strengths of the market working in your. 
Samuels, Dallas Goddard, or Alexander Madison? And you need just one? Just one. Yeah, so let's cross the... Uh, okay. This is ESPN yeah, 1000. Crowder out pretty easily. The last three weeks, he hasn't really been involved in the... I mean, definitely the last two Yes, years, it is. Anderson's really... All right. It's the number of man. Let's stop this. All right, we're going to turn this around. You see the word Roman? You see the word man right there? We're going to move this camera. Oh, it looks really good. I must say. Nice. So let's go see what it is selling for currently. Uh, Based. Search. All right, there's a lot there. There's one with a box, 29 bids on it. But let's just go down to sold listings and see what's up. So 25 bucks with a red one works great with the chain, which I don't have a chain, but I think I have a fix for that. Here's four of them that sold for 100 bucks, and then uh, 29 works great. That's one thing I can say about most of these is they all say they work, work fantastic. 66, 25, 32. We're getting an idea 45 for the blue. Uh, 1250 for the yellow. Yellow might be real common, but yet there's one that sold for uh, ninety-nine dollars. There's a very dirty one right here, sold for twenty-one. It worked great. It said, "I don't know why he would lie." There's a sixty-dollar blue one. Hmm, I should only be so lucky. Twenty-two dollar blue one looks fantastic. It really does. Oh, it looks good. And then, uh, oh, that chain is actually easy. That's just a regular ball chain. 35 bucks. I think I have that too. So anyway, there's that. So we get an idea of what I should expect from my $5 investment there. So yeah, let's uh, get out of here. So all right. I will add a chain to this thing. Hey, wow, it looks really good. And uh, I will list this on eBay. And I will get a return on my 5 bucks from my estate sale. Very nice. Very cool. Very good looking. Panasonic ball radio. If you're into that retro chic, they're smiling at you. Look at this. So, yeah. Cool. Anyway, thanks for coming along. Holland Wolf out.